Hi everybody, so today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Ghostbusters Spirit, uh, Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. Um, now this is the Spirit Halloween one. There's one that Big Bad Toy Store is listing and they have at Halloween Cities. Uh, and it's a Ruby's special, um, or Ruby, not special, but it's Ruby's, a little bit smaller from what I can tell. I don't know as far as detail, which one's better or not. I know this one was bigger. Um, that one runs about 50 bucks. This one was right around 70. Uh, but if you watch the website, they had a 20% discount on this one. Um, one of the giveaways, aside from it saying Spirit down here, you can watch because the Ruby's one has a window box and this one doesn't have a window box. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up, and I'm really, really hoping this thing doesn't require batteries. I mean, I know it requires batteries, but I'm hoping it has them inside it. So, let's open this thing up. Okay, well, not really much in there. Alright, well, let's see what it says. Battery installation. Remove batteries. Battery installation should be performed by an adult. Um, so I'm guessing it doesn't have batteries in it. So let's uh, remove some of this plastic off here. And get the wand here. And no deposit, no return. So, let's see, what do you need? Uh, three double A's. I might have that actually. So, let me grab this thing here. that did not need to come out. Alright, let me pause this and go find some triple A's. Alright, so back here, so I got some lithiums. These should last in here for quite a while. batteries are basically new huh huh turn it on first let's try that all 
That's pretty dang cool. All right, let's turn the bag over. Let's set it up here. Let's see if I can get it. So that is pretty dang awesome. Alright. Let's go over this and look at some of this detail here. So it's pretty dang close. You got some warning stickers on here. Uh, more warning stickers. Um, I know this ribbon is wrong. That's pretty close. It's it's a nice try, I guess. Um, I know there are some upgrade kits for this, so I plan on purchasing some upgrade kits. And hopefully we can get this thing to look really good. Um, this is the only part that bugs me. I don't like that part, so I might have to cut this out and see if we can do something better with that. Uh, I know that these... Um, are supposed to be red, so I think I can change those lenses out. Um, I don't like the sound that much. Yeah. Uh, definitely doesn't sound like when they switch on the pro... I wish she had that switch on sound. Um... I think there are might there might be sound upgrades for this. It definitely needs an Alice frame. And if you look here, let's see if I can get this camera here. It looks like that's cardboard back there. So it may be better off to be not part to be cut out. I don't know how this is wired inside, so until I get a chance to open it up. Um, it looks like nothing has to come off the back though to open it up um let's see how this thing works here huh so let's see if i do this here so the wand is just a little tab that snaps into here and uh, holds it pretty securely um all in all not bad uh for 70 bucks well with 20 percent discount so i think it ended up being like with, with taxes and everything it ended up being 64 i think is what it was um but you know 30 bucks worth of paint on it and uh, 30 bucks, 40 bucks in parts to make it look better. And then sound and lights, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i fine with the lights. Like, it would be cool if the animation cycled the way it was. It should in the car. I don't think. Let's see how this cycles. So those just flash. It'd be nice if they rotate. Because I think in the movie they rotate. Um, so that would be cool if it did that. I don't think any of these wires are actually, like connected to anything I think they're all disappearance so yeah it, it could use some work um visually um I'm not too concerned with the sound I don't plan on keeping the batteries in it full time I just want something that kind of looks cool sitting in on the side of the room um I don't know if there's a way to so I'm guessing there's actually wiring in this tube here since the controls are on the wand, there would have to be. Um, sorry about the sound. So, looks like you get LED here, LED here, those flashing red lights, and then that up there. So, um, not bad at all. I 
I'm actually pretty impressed by it. You know, some of these stickers I think I can just mask off. I definitely want to get rid of the on-off button here. I really wish that these buttons were over here. It was like a toggle switch. So it would feel more like a... I don't know. I bet I can do that. I wonder if I can make a toggle switch run through here. And replace that over here with a toggle switch. Hmm. But it feels really good. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not like super high. Like, I'm pretty sure you could break this thing pretty easily if you tried. So, I wouldn't definitely want to drop this thing. Because I feel like it would pretty much be destroyed. But, yeah, all in all, not bad. I'm glad I picked this thing up. And I uh, can't wait to be able to do some customizations on it. Um, I will definitely have to check out, find some movie pictures, some good reference photos. Um, actually, I'm not going to dig those out. I have, anyway. Um, so yeah, that is the, uh, Spirit Backpack. I would highly recommend if you can find one at, uh, Halloween City. They are sold out online from what I've seen. Um, They've also got ecto goggles and a PKE meter, which I'm hoping to snag those up before Halloween's over. Um, but I'm really, really happy I got this Proton Pack. Um, I don't know where I'll put it in this room. Uh, might actually go on the Stormtrooper, because he might actually be able to support it. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm really, really happy to have this thing. So, um, stay tuned, and hopefully uh, we'll be back with a customization video of it at some point in time. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.